And that he, he actually coined the term geoglyphs for these because he compared them in some ways with the Nazca lines, which again are really only visible from the air. You get the, suddenly the, the massive scope and extent of these things. And it's same with the geoglyphs in the, in the Amazon. And, and here's the thing. The ones we know about up till now, have lo we largely know about them because of these tragic clearances of the Amazon rainforest, which is a maybe a short-term economic gain, but is long-term really not a very good idea. Um, but now with LIDAR, it's possible to find these things without damaging any rainforest at all. And we had a LIDAR expert with us. And, and you can fly LIDAR off a drone now. That's Don't, amazing. Yeah, it's, in, it's incredible. It's a pretty hefty drone. But, but they can fly anywhere. And, and we found, it, I say we, it was actually the, the LIDAR expert who found. He found, with the, you can see the edge of the rainforest where, where the clearances stop and the rainforest hasn't yet been interfered with. And then he flies over there. And within a matter of hours, he's found found multiple more of these of these structures several that are deep in the rainforest that are deep in the covered rainforest completely. covered completely and lidar allows him to see through the canopy oh. and to see what's underneath it without damaging it and there are these huge earthworks and this raises the question how much more is there in the amazon to find especially which even even the archaeologists who are most reluctant are now willing to accept that the amazon had a huge population before the spanish conquest